The Sea of Crises is a lunar mar ray located in the Crisium Basin, and it lies to the northeast of the Sea of Tranquility. Very large impact craters greater than 185 miles, or 300 kilometers in diameter, are designated as impact basins. Crisium is a basin of Nectarian age, and it was formed by basaltic lava that filled the ancient asteroid impact. It has a diameter of 345 miles, or 556 kilometers. The structure of large craters is more complex because they collapse, forming terraces, central peaks, central pits, or multiple rings. Through laser altimetry, we can see the surface in greater detail. Color laser altimetry can further enhance the surface features, and you can clearly see the inner ring of wrinkle ridges. The features that we will visit in this tour are Proclus, Yerkes, Picard, Greaves, Lick, Shapley, Promontory Agarum, I Mart C, Cleomedes F, and H, Swift, Pierce, and lastly, Mons La Trail. Proclus is a brilliant oblique impact crater. It has a diameter of just over 16.5 miles, and it was formed by a low angle of impact, which is indicated by the zone of avoidance ray pattern that clearly shows the incoming flight path of the asteroid. The ray pattern extends for over 370 miles, or 600 kilometers, out into Crisium. Yerkes is a lava-flooded crater that is just over 22 miles, or 36 kilometers, in diameter. A shallow remnant of the rim and central peak are all that remain. Picard is an impact crater from the Eratosthenian period. Inside of its 13.9 mile, 22.3 kilometer diameter is a series of terraces attributed to a collapse of the crater floor, and it has a cluster of low hills at the bottom. Using the LRO narrow angle camera, you can see features in the terracing, like these cracks from impact melt, outcroppings, and layering along the crater wall. Greaves is a small bowl-shaped impact crater with a diameter of 8.6 miles or 14 kilometers. It has a small interior floor at the center of the sloping inner walls and is intruding into the northern edge of the lava-flooded crater, Lick. Lick is an impact crater with a diameter of 24.2 miles or 39 kilometers. This crater was named in memory of James Lick, a Californian philanthropist. Its rim is broken at the north and south ends, and there is a small flooded crater within the southern part of the inner floor. Several tiny craters mark the interior surface, and a small unnamed crater at the east rim has a bright ray system. Shapley is an impact crater that lies along the southern edge of Crisium. This crater is roughly circular, and the interior wall is slightly wider in the southern half. The interior floor has a dark hue that matches the adjacent lunar mare, there is a low central peak near the midpoint of the floor. Promontorium Agarum is a raised mountainous cape that protrudes 25 miles or 40 kilometers into Crisium. It has a width of about 50 miles or 80 kilometers. Using the elevation profile feature of Trek, the height distance from the lava floor to this highest peak is 17,874 feet or 5,448 meters. We now move to the northern edge of Crisium and zoom down to Imart C, a subdued, lava-flooded crater that has a diameter just under 15 miles, or 24 kilometers. It has a very interesting and dynamic floor. This pair of craters are Cleomedes F and H. Their namesake crater is at the top of the field of view. Crater F has a diameter of 7.5 miles or 12 kilometers, and H has a diameter of 3.7 miles or 6 kilometers. The size and shape of a crater and the amount of material excavated depends on factors such as the velocity and mass of the impacting body and the geology of the surface. Smaller craters often are simple bowl-shaped depressions. These two craters are Swift and Pierce. Swift is a small bowl-shaped impact crater that has a small floor at the midpoint of the sloping interior walls. This symmetrical crater shows little evidence of wear from minor impacts. Pierce is roughly circular with a slight outward bulge along the northwestern rim. There are indications of slumping along the sides of this section, producing a wider inner wall. 
The interior is marked by several furrows and ridges and contains a low conical hill near the midpoint. From this vantage point, Pierce slightly resembles a smiling face. Dorsum Termier is 56 miles or 90 kilometers in length and was named after French geologist Pierre-Marie Termier in 1976. Dorsum Opel is 185 miles or 298 kilometers in length. It was named after the German paleontologist Albert Oppel in 1976. Dorsa Tetyaev has a length of 117 miles or 188 kilometers. It was named after Soviet geologist Mikhail Mikhailovich Tetyaev in 1979. Dorsa Harker has a length of 132 miles, or 213 kilometers. It was named after Alfred Harker, an English petrologist in 1976. To the northwest is Mons La Treille. In May of 2021, it was named after Pierre-André La Treille, a French entomologist. This mountain is a breached cinder cone that rises approximately 492 feet, or 150 meters, above the surrounding sea, and it has a diameter of approximately 4 miles, or 6.4 kilometers. Firefly Aerospace Lunar Lander, Blue Ghost Mission 1, landed near its slopes on March 2, 2025, just over 1 mile, or just under 2 kilometers, northwest of the base of the mountain. This video from one of the cameras on the lander is fascinating.